Are you ready for to boost your brain capabilities with an AI chip from Elon Musk? Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell notification below. How often have you thought of eating all your notes so you can memorize them? Or how many times have you wished you could read others or take a photo from your eyes? Thanks to Elon Musk, some of these childhood wishes might come to life. For this, you will only need a small brain chip. What is this AI chip? It can be introduced as a brain-computer interface, or a BCI. BCIs can create both internal and external brain connections. They're able to read brain activity, convert it into information, and then relay that information back to the brain or outside. BCIs can be classified as either invasive or non-invasive. Invasive BCIs link microscopic electrodes to neurons in order to track their activity. Invasive BCIs can be implanted in different parts of the brain and they can capture more deep signals. Neuralink and other invasive BCIs need to be implanted in the brain via surgery, which also involves using high-precision surgery robots to attach the electrodes to the neurons correctly. So what is the Neuralink concept of BCI? In July 2016, Musk established Neuralink Corp to develop ultra-high bandwidth brain machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. In 2017, the business stated that its primary objective was to develop brain interfaces to lessen the symptoms of long-term medical issues. Musk has regularly expressed concern that the rapid development of artificial intelligence poses an existential risk to humanity. He said that a brain chip might resolve the issue, but he continued by saying that it also aimed to assist you in safeguarding and improving your brain and forging a future that was in line with your goals. Neuralink has ensured that computer intelligence will augment human talents within the next 10 years. So, people will be able to create a completely new version of themselves thanks to technology. It even implies that people who are not among the top 1% can integrate into this new society. A fine-tuned surgical robot will place this coin-sized Neuralink device inside the brain. It connects a thousand tiny strands from the link to specific neurons. These threads have a diameter of one-fourth of that of human hair. The chip uses Bluetooth to connect to an external computer for constant back-and-forth communication. In the future, these AI chips may benefit people with a range of neurological conditions when there's a breakdown or connection between the brain and the body's nerves. This includes those who have epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, paraplegia, or quadriplegia. What can this chip do? Neuralink's main goal is to develop a technology that will enable people to behave more like machines. Having neural laces that grant them superhuman skills would allow people to acquire an advantage in their daily lives without significantly altering their bodies. It might represent the first step taken by humanity toward immortality. The Neuralink device will offer a visual prosthesis in the event of retinal damage or eye injury-related blindness. This is possible, as the world is seen in a variety of wavelengths. So, one must identify their frequency and dynamically adjust the sensor to provide a superhuman vision. With Neuralink, one may communicate more effectively by sending real thoughts. Must describe this exchange as non-linguistic asking consenting telepathy. You can release untapped technology using this technology. With enough electrodes in the appropriate locations, you can even begin drawing on those fundamental ideas running through your head. Humans crave sentimentality in this era, and this device can store memories. On demand, one can go back and relive the memories. This can be helpful in treating cognitive disorders like dementia. One day, the chips will have medicinal applications. The chip's original purpose was to aid in the restoration of mobility for those whose spinal cords have been cut. Still, it can now reduce tension and anxiety by regulating hormone levels in the brain. It was suggested that generic brain devices like the Neuralink could help with illnesses including memory loss, depression, epilepsy, and brain injury. This brain-implanted chip can manipulate a host's emotions and mood by sending out waves with irregular frequency and amplitude. So, when can we see the device? The most straightforward answer to this is no. It has to undergo many procedures before coming to the market. A specialized gadget may monitor these impulses as they pass 
and learn to identify them with distinct physical movements they cause. Such a device could assist its user in overcoming disease and paralysis and regaining control of their body by gathering and delivering the same brain signals. But the device itself is truly the difficult part. There's extremely limited space in people's heads to implant anything securely, and the internal language of the brain is not well known. Drilling a tiny hole in the skull, roughly the size of a quarter, and surgically inserting a battery-operated, wirelessly rechargeable gadget is their proposed solution. The procedure needs only a 2mm incision that is widened up to 8mm. The chipset module will cover the exposed portion of the skull when the treatment is finished, while the patient is under partial anesthesia. Musk added that after the device is implanted, there won't be any cables or antennae protruding from your head. This is still in its trial phase. How were the trials? One of Neuralink's chips was displayed in 2020 inside of a pig named Gertrude. The chip was able to monitor brain activity while the pig snuffled about for food and precisely predict the position of Gertrude's limbs when she walked on a treadmill. In April 2021, Neuralink took their animal demonstrations further by showcasing a monkey controlling a video game with its thoughts. It was Pager, a macaque monkey engaged in video gaming in exchange for banana smoothies. Pager used a joystick that wasn't attached to the gaming system to play the games, which meant that he was using his brain impulses to move the pointer. Originally, it was expected to start human trials in 2020, but it was delayed to 2022. On July 29, 2021, Neuralink declared that it had secured a $205 million Series C fundraising round from investors including Google Ventures. They mentioned in its release that the first commercial use of its chip might be able to assist people with quadriplegia. In a tweet, Musk claimed that Neuralink would treat tinnitus by 2027. A neurological disorder called tinnitus causes ringing or buzzing in the ears when there's no external cause. 50 million Americans are suffering from this. Tinnitus is a frequent issue that develops when the vestibulocochlear nerve, which connects the inner ear to the brain, is harmed by sustained loud noise, trauma, or a lack of blood flow. Most neuroscientists are positive about the device's ability to alleviate tinnitus. Artificial implants are not alien to us, but why can we trust Neuralink chip? Less brain damage. The floppiness of the wires is its main strength and is the most significant advancement in the field. Some say they're much softer than Jell-O. Each cable is slightly thinner than a human hair and is equipped with electrodes that can both detect and, in theory, trigger brain activity. For any device that will spend a significant amount of time lodged in a person's brain, floppy wires may be a preferable option because they're less likely to irritate or harm the tissue. Method of Insertion Floppy wires have a significant drawback in that they can be challenging to thread into the brain. To address this, Neuralink has created something new. A sewing machine-like device would be used to implant the probes into the brain. It would utilize a hard needle to push the threads into the cortex's outer layer at a depth of around one millimeter, using online motion correction features. This works by capturing the blood vessels in the brain under a microscope and then using a robot to reposition the needle to correspond with those blood vessels. It translates brain activity. The brain produces very few electrical signals, making extracting them challenging. Because there's always some electrical noise in the environment around us, the further they have to go down a narrow cable, the more noise will distort them. The signal should be able to be amplified and digitalized as near to the source as possible. According to what they revealed in their white paper, that tip appears to be cutting edge. So you'll be able to record from more locations with greater accuracy comparable to updating your television to high HD in a way. There are no risks, are there? Neuralink is a class 3 medical device, and it's the riskiest classification according to the FDA. So they must successfully pass the stringent FDA regulatory checks before human trials can begin. Once they get approval, they will recruit human volunteers and begin the subsequent phase of trials. Then what? Then comes the risks. Already, there have been many complaints about animal ethics regarding the monkeys and pigs they use for experimenting with the device, and people will start to doubt. Despite finding the project fascinating, several people are already skeptical about it. The worst case scenario is hacking our brains. Neuralink is, at its core, a computer, 
And as with all technological advances in computing throughout human history, the more complicated and intelligent computers get, the more appealing targets they become for hackers. Our brains have more than a computer can ever gain. Breaking the barrier to brain with a BCI could allow hackers to break in and cause issues beyond our current comprehension. So, are you ready to boost your brain capabilities with an AI chip from Elon Musk? Tell us in the comments.